Employment Minister Jamie Hepburn said the claims were deeply concerning. Colin White there. Council bosses in Angus are pouring cold water on fears that planned changes to care could put vulnerable elderly people in jeopardy. They claim changes to the area's community alarm system will be better than the current operation. Craig Miller reports. What am I going to do when uh, the community alarm girl turns up here and realises that she needs more help and that help is somewhere far away? She's been a counsellor and indeed a provost in Angus, but now living alone and having suffered a stroke, Ruth Leslie Melville places great faith in her community alarm system. Until now, four teams of two across Angus have responded to calls in pairs. The new plan is to have them go as individuals in separate vehicles. If that one person is confronted by someone on the floor, isn't sure what's wrong with that person, has to get in touch with somebody who's maybe way up one of the glens, it can be a full hour before that person gets back to you. Jill Scott is so angry about the issue that she's decided to stand in the forthcoming council elections. One person on response with maybe another one that can be pulled in in the case of an emergency, that's, that's, a, that's not acceptable. All this is happening against the background of difficult financial times for Angus Council. It's faced with a budget reduction of up to £51 million pounds over the next four years. This has made councils think differently about things like community alarms. They say on many occasions only one staff member is needed for a call-out. The new model will see the current teams backed up by 24 staff who will be trained to know what to do and come out to homes if needed. They say it will be a better service for vulnerable people. I'd like to reassure them that at night there will be no change to the current service. During the day, we think that there will be an improvement to the service because those who have maybe been waiting longer than they think they should have been waiting for a call-out will be able to get that call-out a lot quicker because they will have more people available to respond. But more widely across the home care sector, services will be increasingly shifted to the independent and voluntary sector, and that could mean something like 90 jobs being shared by Angus Council in the next two years. Craig Miller, STV News. The Scottish fishing leader.